Welcome back to the Shame Plays Let's Play series of Baldur's Gate Siege of Dragonspear. Uh, we had the end of last session. We're pretty much done with um, is it Corlage, I think was the initial bad guy. Corlage's tomb, her family tombs. And um, huh? we've defeated her, and now we're just kind of running around and, and trying to finish the last little quests that may be in here. I'll do it. And through um, reading a walkthrough, I found a secret door um, that I never would have found otherwise. You had to light this purple torch here. This, these were already lit, and the yellow and the red were lit, but the purple wasn't. And when you lit that, by taking a torch up to here and interacting with that purple bonfire, then it opened up a secret, secret door here. So that's what we're checking out. <clears throat> see what we can interact with here. Lots of stuff. Oh, there's a rat. What do you know? I'm going to let my you want me? thief Whatever walk you around like. a little bit and see if we trigger any trap indicators. We do not. That is locked. That's locked. Alright. And I think, let me see me? I think everybody's inventory is pretty full. Okay, so Minch has some room. My thief has some room. My druid has a little bit of room. Okay. Thief has a little bit of room. Sweetheart? Right. Oh. Well, now. That was unexpected. Was that a big giant skeleton? A bladed skeleton. This was all very, very unexpected. I think at one time she had a wait a minute, what is this? Yes. Uh I guess she's got a what is this? I don't even... Shield amulet. Okay, so it has shield. I didn't even realize that she had that. They start with all these magical weapons. Um, boy, I need a turn undead character, which I don't have. I had a scroll of hold undead, but there it is. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use that. Put that in her quick items. See if that helps. Let's throw it there. This, Problem? this could get nasty pretty quick. You'll notice this little black outline around the character sprites. Uh, I kind of like it. I do think it helps pick characters and NPCs out against the background, but a lot of people aren't liking it. And evidently there is a way to turn it off. Uh, let me go see. I'm not going to turn it off, but let's see if we can find it. Uh... No difficulty group multiplayer chat box. Yeah, I'm not seeing a place to turn that off. I imagine there is a way. Let me see. Turn the game gameplay graphics, maybe in the graphics. Yeah, sprite outlines. There it is. I'm going to leave it on, but some people may want to turn it off. Based on, I've, I've seen some stuff on the internet, people complaining about it. It's been a couple of comments on one of the videos I've uploaded, so I don't know how well this fight is going to go. <laughs> that triggered a pretty nasty fight. Oh, man. This could get bad really quickly. What is it? I guess let's put everybody Can I on, help you? on this thing. Try to take this thing out. By and, the then, and then I want her to throw Hold on Dead. All right, let's see if I can survive this fight. She's ever actually got to Nature servant get the spell off. Um, let's see if we can get a heal on her. Yeah, my yeah, my invoker's dead. Let's load. Go back in here. Can I at once? You 
your spine tingles with any sensation when you enter this room. Alrighty then. Damn, background noise sounds a little high. I'm gonna turn it down. Uh, ambient volume, sound effects volume, music. I don't know. Turn some of this down. see here. I? Yes. That's a note. I should watch for an old temple of Baal on my travels. Okay, Saravok's secret. Let's go to Minsk. This is what I just picked up. My research into the Lord of Murder has begun to bear its tainted fruit. This is from Saravok's notes. And Saravok is the bad guy that was defeated at the end of Baldur's Gate 1. The dreams come every night now, dreams of floods and eruptions, earthquakes and devastation. I descend deeper into the dreams each time, combing clues from their chaff. I'll use what they teach me to bring a living nightmare to this land. I've learned all I can in the city. While my plans for the Iron Throne gain traction, I go to visit a temple of Bell, overtaken by the faithful of who, of he who murdered my father leaving the way f clear for me to take his place. There I shall find out more regarding my dark heritage and the prophecy. If I have time, I shall also look into a hidden room rumored to have been constructed by Mask. The Lord of Shadows is cunning. The marks he has left behind number three, one, and four. That's interesting. I'm going to copy that note. Done. So we'll drop this on the ground now. And that should be in the journal. Uh, yeah, my research into the Lord of Murder, and now I have a quest that says Saravok's Secret. I should watch out for no Temple of Bell. I love dungeons. They're usually bursting with gold. Yeah, well, these are bursting with undead, honey. Uh, let's see what's over here. Uh, a book. Right. And what's over here? Another book. I get, I'm, I'm assuming these will sell for something. I don't know. I never read them. Uh, I can't remember which chest I opened that kicked off the big, the big uh, burly brawl. Was it this one? Right. Well, there's there's a burly brawl. Looks like either one kicks off the fight. Or maybe I have to fight both times I open a chest. If so, I'm probably not going to keep fighting. <laughs> I'm going to try to get my guys out of here to where I have some room to breathe. Move, guys. That didn't go so well. Move. 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 Yeah, this isn't going well. All right, first of all, I'll tell you what. I got three characters that need to level up, so let me do, let me do that. And then I'm gonna see if I want to fight all these undead. I need to level you up, buddy. Uh, ready to level up? All right, Minsk. Let's level you up. Okay, is that not? Oh, here we go. So this is this thing is like ready to level up, and it's pulsing. And you click on that, and nothing happens. You have to click over here for level up. Get zero proficiency slots and zero skills. So I really can't do anything. I guess he's just going to get better to hit chances maybe and um, more hit points. Done. Okay, he's leveled up. So I guess his hit points went up. And maybe his move silently hide in, hide in shadows because he's a ranger. I don't know. Racial enemy is a null. Um, it's his base Thaco probably improved since we're using the second second edition rules. All right, so now, well, he was he not already level seven? Maybe he was level six. Okay, uh, let's go to here. I can't dual class her for whatever reason, but I can level her up. She has one proficiency slot and 25 skill points. Wow. Uh, what do I want to give her? I can't give her any more there. What is she using? I don't even know what... I didn't even pay 
attention to what weapons she's using. I know she's not using a two-handed weapon. Short bow, crossbow. Hmm, I'm wondering if I should hold on to the proficiency slot and spend it. I don't know why I can't bump her up in the scimitar wakizashi menjato. I could bump her up in a single weapon style. Hmm. I think I'm going to hold on to that for now. Uh, let's see. Her open locks is really good. Her fine traps is pretty good. Let's bump that up five points. Uh, detect illusion is absolutely zero. Minor inconsistencies caused by illusion spells. Since I don't have any in that, I'm going to bump that up. All right. And I guess until I spin the... It won't let me hit done, so I guess I have to spend it. Uh, I'm just going to do single weapon style. There we go. What is she using? Weapon wise. She's using a scimitar. Okay. And let's go to Jahiria, Jahiria, or whatever. I can't dual class her. I guess maybe only my character I can dual class, perhaps, I'm assuming. Uh, oh, she's already multi-class. She's a Druid 6, Fighter Level 6. So, level up. I mean... I guess I can't. I don't. I don't get to determine which, um, whether her fighter druid levels up. I guess that's it. I didn't get any more spells that I that I know of. Skills, abilities. All right, let's go to your spell book. Since you leveled up. Ah, she gets fourth level spells now. Cool. All right. So what do I want to give her? Neutralize poison is nice. Death ward. What is this? this spell protects the target from all forms of death magic. Cloak of fear. Cloak of powers cast a radio personal aura of fear. Call woodland being. Spell summons forth a nymph. Several priest spells at her disposal has her dispo yeah, disposal and will use them in best interest of the party. Mental domination, confusion, and mass cure. She'll remain under the caster's control until slain or the spell's duration expires. And it'll last three turns. Huh. Animal summoning one. Caster calls between two and three animals that have four hit dice or less. Hmm. For three turns. I kind of like this woodland beans. Let me give her that and a cure serious wounds. All right. All right, done. Uh, Can I help you? Let me go I'll out here. Do it. I want to try to rest before I have this fight. Let's see if I can work my way through this fight. It's kind of a nasty one. Nope. I wasn't able to do it. Alright, everybody, attack. Yes. See if I can just kind of work my way through these guys. It's not a big deal. I'm not even really using any tactics. I'm just kind of swing and a miss. Just letting them fight. Where are you guys going? 
Bunch of junk that I don't care about. All right, let's try to rest again. Okay, I rested. I think what I'm going to do M me, if none are but better, is try P to problem? do this fight. If none are but better more to my advantage. You want me? Thy called. Do some, do some potions to heal up. Okay, you are gonna hidden away. You're in shadows. Whatever you like. I don't think it'll help. I, I think, yeah, as soon as I interact with this thing, I think my hide in shadows... Hidden away. Though I can see in the d d dark, I still... Run, 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 run away! Okay, let's see what we can do now. Get a little bit of tactics going here. What is it? I don't even know what this thing is. A bone bat. Well, oh, I need some turn undead, I'll tell you that. Okay, now yes. you have this... Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Let me go into your inventory here. Yeah, you got this hold undead spell, which I want to throw here. Okay, looks like it held some of them, and that's good. Yes, oh omnipresent authority figure. You need to get healed up. By demand. All right, what can I throw here? Uh, you are gonna throw a good old fireball right here. That helped a little bit, not tremendously. All right, let's get everybody on you? on the big bruiser here. This uh, blade bladed skeleton, pretty nasty looking. Hmm. And I need your magic, my dear. Mm. I forget what that spell is. Spell magic, okay, I don't want that. Uh, let's just do a good old-fashioned magic missile on Boney here. Ow! All right, these guys are still held, I think, which is totally fine with me. Okay. Yes? Let's go down you here. Got this coming! Tactics makes all the difference! Cause I sure got my butt kicked the first couple of times I tried to make, do this fight. You know, the Infinity Engine still has some pretty strong tactics, even though it's real time with pause. Which, you know, I prefer turn based. Because sometimes I, I can't keep up with everything that's going on, and DD is at its core a turn based <laughs> combat system. Uh, however, you know, once you get used to the affinity engine, you can you, you can get pretty good with your tactics. Mm. But I prefer yes, you know turn based. All things being equal. If I have to fight this fight twice for each one of these I open, I am not going to be a happy camper. Okay. I'm gonna send Minsk in here because he's the one that has right. the room. Yeah. Yes. 
That was actually an enjoyable fight once I got some tactics going. Magic sword of some sort. All right. You want boo? What do you got there, Minsk? What is this? Potion of invulnerability. Huh. Very high resistance to attack while giving bonuses to all saving throws. So armor class becomes a zero, and saving throws get plus five in duration as an hour. That's pretty sweet. Who do I want to give this to? Uh, I guess I'll give this to my main character. Or I could leave it with Boo. Or Minsk. Sword first. Oh, let's see what these guys have. I didn't even look at what they dropped. Um, okay, I don't want any of this. I've already dropped that note on purpose. M me? At once. P problem? What? What? Alright, what is this? I don't even know. It's a helmet. It's a magical helmet. So, and then this is a magical two-handed sword. All right. Can, I think she's, well, nope, I can give those to her. All right, Mints. We need to identify those. You know, inventory's full on that guy. Uh, yes, I need you to imitate, identify my dear. Yes. Uh, sword. sword of Ruin. This wide, heavy blade gives way to a jagged teeth near its tip. A serrated edge designed to rip and tear flesh. Critical hit chance, plus 5%. Combat abilities. Deals an extra 2d4 points of slashing damage on a critical hit. And the damage is plus 2. Uh, speed factor is 8. Nice. And what about this? Helm of an unwavering purpose. Armor class plus one. Immunity to confusion and protects against critical hits. That's pretty sweet. Uh, what has he got on? Helm of Baldurin. Huh. Okay. What about your two-handed sword? Spider's Bane. Protects the wielder from any magic effects that adversely affect movement, such as hold and web. Hmm. I think I want to give him this new two-handed sword I found. Inventory fool? No, it's not. I just... What did I do? <sighs> okay, so... I can't... I can't I see. Even though this is open, his inventory itself is not open. There we go, Fred. Now you got it. Uh, let me look at that again. Plus two. Speed factor eight. What was the speed factor on this other one? Not really up on the speed factor, remembering how that works. Speed factor, so the same speed factor. I mean, I know it has to do with how fast it is, but I don't remember how the, the rules work, whether high or low is good. Uh, da, 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 da. Let's see what else we had here. This magical helm. Uh, this was a pretty good helm. I don't want to get rid of that, but let's see what everyone else has. Saving throws, cold resistance, fire, and protect against critical hits. What about your helm, bro? Protects against critical hits, protects against all form of panic, and boosts morale. And then this helm does what? Immunity confusion protects against critical hits and armor class plus one. Hmm. Yeah, I think he's going to wear that. We're going to let Mint square that. All right. All right, Minsk. What is it? All right, so let's look at the map. Uh, let's fill in the area map. Oh, 
we still got some fog of war here. This is very handy, this little addition they did to the UI. Um, I can see that there's still some fog of war here that I have not uncovered. So that, that's handy. Let's go check that out. Better. Can. What are these? Oh, How well, as soon as, as soon as I talked to the fire beetle, it attacked me. That wasn't very nice of it, was it? I don't know how much of a fight this will be. I'm not even doing any tactics, I'm just letting them fight. Uh, Khalid's taking a little bit of damage. And my druid's Jahira is taking some damage. Okay, that was not a major fight. And what do I get here? Oh! Well, there's stuff on the ground. Huh? What is this? Gold? A magic mace? No Minsk is as brawny as they come! He cannot carry everything, and he must, must make, make room, room for Boku. Okay. Keep Ever? watch for ancient tombs or any scrolls that might contain lost arcana. Uh, okay. What is this? Oh, it's a spider's bane. Uh, who has room? You have room. Okay, let's go back to Minsk. I. The Shattered Staff. Okay, got the other piece of the staff. Uh, for the Revenant or whatever that was wanting his staff. And let's give that to her so we can identify it. Oh, it's just a Morning Star plus one. So, all right. Uh -huh. Anything else in here? Better. Oh, what's that? I don't know if I can get across here. Hot lava seeps through the cracks in the cavern wall, illuminating the chamber. Every now and then it stirs and hisses. Can I even get there without dying? Yes. Oh, Mahit. Mahit's jumped out. Which are like little fire imps, fire demon kind of thingies. All right, everybody. Take these chumps out. You got this coming! <laughs> I love that. That's why I chose that voice for my dude. I love that. You got this coming. All right. Anything else? Did they drop anything? They didn't. Stingy little mahits. Yeah. Let's All right. Talk what is this fight. over here? What are those? I don't even know. Diamonds. You want boo? No. I want to see what you just picked up. Zircon gem. Cubic zirconium. Zircone attends its pale blue shade with heating and cutting, usually facet cut. All right, can I give this to you? Yes, and you have the gem bag, open container. I'm going to put that in there, and Zircon gems we're going to put in there. All right, good thief. Carrying the gems. M me, I'll d do it. You'll d d d d do it. Thank you, Khalid. Very, very nice of you. All right, so where's this guy that I need to... Ah, oh, here he is. All right, we got to go back this way. La, la, la. La, la, la. In fact, let's just go down here, because that's where he's at. That's how people address each other in fantasy worlds. Hey, dude! Return my staff to my tomb. Then I can rest. Alright, do it. Well, who has it? That's one piece. Where's the other piece? What? Come here, yes. Minsk. I think you've got the other piece, man. Yeah. 
You place the shattered staff's fragments upon the desiccated remains within the sarcophagus. And something happened. I'm not sure what. Uh, you place the shattered staff's fragments upon the desiccated remains within the sarcophagus, and a hidden compartment opens. Several gems spell out, glittering on the stone containers. I funeral love murk. dungeons. Got They're 3,000 XP bursting with gold. for that. All right, so... Yes. Let's see what kind of gems we have. Well, what right. happened to the gems? There they are. All right. And her inventory is full. Hey there. Inventory management, we love you. I wonder how much room this... Oh, I don't think I have any room. I think it's full. Uh, wow. It's full. Oh, you have to do it one at a time? Are you kidding me? Is there some, like, alt-click thing I can do or something? It didn't move the whole stack. You gotta do it one at a time. And now it does seem that this is full. Alright. Done. But I guess I have room for what Whatever else is Whatever you there? like. Yeah, let's go ahead and get that. Okay. We're, man, we we have no more the room problem? left. problem? <laughs> I'll just do it. I gotta remember how to get out of here. This way goes up. Oh, I gotta go back to that lady and give her the moss. You must gather your party, party before, before venturing, venturing forth. forth. Uh, there's a lady here with moss that we have to give her her moss, and then we should be if done none are but better. with this beginning dungeon crawl. the moss. Where's the lady at? Oh, there she is. Who's got the moss? I don't remember. You don't have the moss. 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 You've got the moss. Alright. You've a task for the group. Hello again. I happened across some, some of that cobalt moss cobalt moss you wanted. I'll give it to you for appropriate compensation. I found the cobalt moss you were looking for. I say, hey, I found the cobalt moss you were looking for. That's it. Yes, the potion is ready. Potion at party's lost an item. Um, I'm curious, what exactly are you going to use this potion for? Now tell me your plans for this concoction. I'm just going to say, what are you going to use it for? I suppose you will do no harm. I want to apply the potion to a rare tome hidden away in candle keep uh you seek entry to my childhood home truly well luck to you you'll need it you can't be serious i'm gonna say you seek entry to my childhood home she says you were raised in candle keep you say tell me more it was a quiet peaceful childhood i learned a great deal and always felt safe it was a boring tedious place i always longed to escape now that i have i'll never return it's not something i care to discuss i'll say it was a quiet peaceful childhood i learned a great deal and always felt safe and did the monks there raise you? No, my mentor Gorion did. Or the monks can raise their heads from whatever books absorb their attention. A man named Gorion cared for me. Uh, I'm going to say Gorion, or Gorion raised me and Saravok killed him. You never went back? Once. It was uh, unpleasant? Or only to hunt down my murderous half-brother? It's a long story. Uh, I'll say only to hunt down my murderous half-brother. It's a long story. Very dramatic, yes. Hmm. I could use some advice. I wish to visit Candlekeep and view a Netherese tomb. Or tome. There are secret writings upon its pages my potion will reveal, but I lack a book of great value with which to gain entry. 
It seems to me that enhancing an, an existing volume by revealing hidden text is almost like giving them a book, yes? Do you think such an argument would carry water with the gatekeepers? Uh, that's a tricky needle to thread. The guards are not renowned for flexibility in interpreting the rules. Uh, I'm not sure it will work, but you can try. I'm going to say that's a tricky needle to thread. I know my chances are slim, but a letter from you endorsing my offer might help. As it happens, I've drafted just such a letter here. I was hoping Grand Duke Janath might sign it, but a son of Candlekeep would surely have greater influence. Certainly I'll sign your letter. Here you go. Uh, I'm not entirely comfortable with that, or you would have me risk my good... I'm going to say I'm not entirely comfortable with that. The letter makes no claims on your behalf. Your reputation will be in danger. It simply explains the situation. Will you help me? Uh, I'll say very well. Here you are. Oh, thank you, thank you. I'll leave for candle keep at once. Here, take this small token of my appreciation. I don't know if I should have done that or not. Uh, I helped him on create a potion as well as sign for a letter. All right, I got 3,000 experience, 50 gold, and an item. But I don't know what item I got. What item did I get? I don't know. Uh... All right, so all these are finished. Only Saravok Secret is left unfinished in my quest right now. I have no Can idea. I help you? Let's see if Make she got the servant? item since I oh, talked wait. to her. Uh, oh, yeah, looks like I got this. A wand. Let's give that wand to her. Let her identify it. Wand of Monster Summoning. Summon 12 HD of monsters. Sweet! And it's got three charges. That is sweet. I will definitely take that. Okay. Yes, I'll do it. Let us see what's next. Now ah, look at all this. You know, I've been wondering if I could sell to... Who is this? I don't recognize this person. Korlash. Okay, that's the lady I defeated and let her got kept and told her, let her get captured instead of killing her. I don't know if I can sell to this cleric. I've been kind of wanting to. Uh, can I sell? I can't. Nope. I can't sell to her. Okay. I was wondering that the other day. Um, let's go. Uh, where's M.O.N.? I guess I should try to talk to M.O.N. if she's around. Where's Emmeline? I hear. I don't see Emmeline. Maybe she's not down here. Uh huh? Corlage. Yeah, there's Emmeline. Let's talk to her real quick. I'll do it. I guess this is it. We've done what we came to do. Time to head back to the palace for a well-earned rest, don't you think? Duke Janath sent you here seeking magical papers or books, did she not? I found these in Corlage's room. All right, here. This is exactly the sort of thing I was looking for. Thanks. I'll tell Duke Janath you found these when we get back to the palace. I lost an item. Uh, yeah, let's return Thank to the Ducal Palace. Thank you, gods. It's done. It's over. It's finally over. Saravok's allies are all dead. Or awaiting the noose. What will you do now? Say so whatever the city and the Sword Coast require me, uh, or first I'm going to sleep for a week, then another week, then a month. After that, I'll probably have a nap. Uh, what I always have done: seek new ways to extend my power. I'm going with first. I'm going to sleep. I'm for glad a week. you're all right. I worry about you. I'm glad you. you're all right, Basher McBashy. I worry about you. I worry about you too. If I were to lose you, I don't know what I do. I'm glad I'm all right too. I also worry about me. You waste time and energy with needless concern. I can take care of myself. Uh, yeah, he's friends with Emma, and I don't know what I'd do without you. Let's never find out, all right? Sure, Emma, and sure. Corlage is defeated, and the last of Saravok's influence died with her. Your foster father, Gorion, has been avenged. With the exception of your friend Imowen, those who helped you thwart your half-brother's schemes drift away from you, returning to their lives. For the first time since you left Candlekeep, you have the opportunity to reflect on the astonishing turns your life has taken. Though you are fettered by the rulers of Baldur's Gate, a sense of unease plagues you. You can't help but hear the rumors, the whispers that you share the same dark blood as Saravok. Some hint you killed your half-brother, 
Not for the good of the city, but so you could usurp his place and his power. For the moment, however, your persecutors' voices are drowned out by an ever-growing number of others with more immediate concerns. Every day, more refugees driven from their homes by the servants of Kalar Argent arrive at the city gates. Many have stories of the Shining Lady's grace. All have tales of her followers' wrath. A ten day after Corlage's defeat, you retire to your chamber in the Ducal Palace, your thoughts troubled. You wonder what effect Kalar's crusade will have on Baldur's Gate, little knowing how close at hand the answer is. Hey, uh, you awake? It's me, Emmeline. I don't know. That's the problem. Actually, I said, is everything all right? Maybe I'm just jumpy because of what's been going on in the city. There's so many people here running from that crusade in the north. I thought I heard noises outside my room. I was worried something was happening. So we've been through much of late, but we prevailed. We can't fall victim to fear now. Or we're in the Ducal Palace. If something bad happens, this is about the safest place we can be. I'm going to say noises. What kind of noises? Footsteps, maybe muttering. It was probably just a servant. <laughs> Hells, now I feel silly. Wait, there it is again. Did you hear that? I'm gonna go check it out. All right. Uh, had some kind of quest pop up here. Uh, Saravok secret. My missed fortune. I should look for the treasurer Ophilus in the Ducal Palace's basement. I don't know why I'm supposed to do that, but... Evidently, I'm supposed to do that. Uh, okay, so it's a good place to end. We're at about 40 minutes, so we'll go ahead and wrap the video here. Uh, when we begin again, I guess we will be in the Ducal Palace, and it looks like more of the main storyline will unfold now that we've kind of got the preliminaries out of the way. Um, and a nice little fun dungeon crawl and all that. Uh, my companions are gone. I guess I will get some back, if not the same exact ones. Um, so maybe that, that starting group was just for the very beginning of the game. Um, anyway, so this this is enjoyable. It's, it's having some fun with it. Thanks so much for watching. Um, and I, I guess they took all their... Wow, wait a minute. Where's my equipment? Oh, wow. Now I'm down to zero gold, and I have no equipment. Wow. <laughs> Good grief. At least I have... Wow. I didn't know that was going to happen. Uh, okay. Anyway, that's kind of a bummer. Um, let's take a look really quick at, at this. What does this say? The wealth you accumulated since departing Candlekeep has been stored in the palace basement by the treasurer of Phyllis. Presenting this receipt meticulously inscribed on delicate parchment will allow you to withdraw your gold. A personal note has been written at the bottom of the receipt. Dear Mashy McBashy, as I've not heard otherwise, I'm guessing the chest I had delivered to your quarters to store your friend's equipment is getting the job done. Please do let me know if it isn't, and I'll have another sent you immediately. Regards, O. Oh. All right. Copied the note. Maybe we'll drop that on the floor. All right, so let me check that real quick. Yeah, I'll get right on that. Okay, so there's all the stuff. So I didn't lose everything. Okay, so there's at least that, because I was kind of like going, whoa. <laughs> yeah, but I lost all my gold, which I guess the gold is down in the basement. Uh, that's why I'm supposed to look for the treasure. Anyway, thanks so much for watching this uh, uh, this video, this Shane Plays Let's Play series of Baldur's Gate Siege of Dragonspear. Look forward to continuing to play this game and seeing how it all fold, unfolds. And um, if you like the video, please leave it a thumbs up on YouTube, maybe a comment, and make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thanks so much for watching.